Real Talk. I'm your host, Christine Kai. Now, like I told you earlier, we are talking crime and rehabilitation. And our first guest in studio, his name is George Aguko, and he is a reformed ex-convict. He is also vice chairman reformist organization and is here to share with us his experience. George, thank you so much for coming. Yes, of course, this is a bold step, you know, just coming and being able to share with us. And obviously, my first question, which, um, you know, we do appreciate that you're here to share with us, is uh, what uh, led you to, you know, commit, what crime did you commit, and, you know, how did you find yourself in prison? Mm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, uh, my name is George O. Kaguko. Mm. I'm from Roraka, Katika Kikundi Kinajita Reformist Crime Kutosipo Organization. Mm -hmm ambaye ni kikundi imeanzishwa na founders ni ex convict. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the founders ni ex convicts. Ex convict. Okay, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So nimekuwa ni ki hizo uh, miaka za nyuma nilikuwa ni ki participate kwa mambo na gang activities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why nilijikuta kwenye uh, BN bars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, na nimeka jail almost 10 good years. 10 years. Yeah. Okay. When did you leave? Uh, 2012 mwezi wa 7. Mm. Mm. Saba. Okay, so I mean um Tunaskianga, you know, prison is not a very nice, it is not a nice place, yeah? But just to make sure uh, our viewers will get perspective or understand, how, how is it like in prison? What is a day like in prison? Okay, Kwanza, uh, life beyond bars, mm. ni tough. Mm. Ju, ukifanya makosa, mm. usi expect at uneza kwa na freedom. Mm. So, unalipa Kenya ulifanya. Mm. Kwevo, uko ni, una, nisemi ni kama kupanish mtu. So wakati unapanishiwa, sunajua uh, mambo ya zikuwa kama kawaida. Yeah. yeah, so life ya prison, suwezi, suwezi taka mwenye ajawai yeah. kufika huko. Okay. Singe taka afike huko. That's why tuliamua kuambia vijana mm. kwetu crime si poa. Kwa mm. e, wakati tulirudi, tulipata teenagers ndo walikuwa na participate kwa mambo na, na crime. Mm. Na tukua bandika iyo, iyo jina, teen and crime. Mm. Na kama community, watu wamenya maza tu. Mm hawaongei alafu unapata community eh, Kenya wanajua kufanya sana ni ku criticize yes. na hiyo aisaidi chochote mm. so sisi tukasema pana mm. in nonsense mm. iwezi endelea na tunaona tukiona vijana wadogo mm. wakiumiza mm. wengine mm. na hata wako na wazazi so tukaanza kuuliza wewe mimi nikuje nianze kuumiza labda watu wale wanajua utafilaje mm. kwa hivyo kwako itakuwa ni mbaya mm. nona Na kama kwa kitu kwa nimbaya, jua ata wewe pia unakosia wengi. So unapata kama community, sisi ndo tunachangia crime mm. kugrow. Mm. Mtaani. Mm. Juu unasema huyo si mtoto wangu. Mm. Huyo si mjui. Mm. Lakini unasahau, huyo ndi anakati ule msichana wako. Ama huyo ndi utongozo na ndugu yako. Mm. Kwa hivu huyo crime kwa kwenyu na ujui. Mm. Yeah. What is a day like in prison? <laughs> uh, prison ni kuna mabu mingi. Mm. Eh, kutia kwanza wakati nilijikuta behind bars mm -hmm. nili, ya niliona vitu zimetan upside down kasema kumbe kuna place inakuwa na mambo kama kama hizi mm -hmm. juu kabla ujenda umujua gereza hata weo unasikiaga tu prison yes, prison exactly. na hata ujai fikiria tisiku moja unazajikuta yeah. huko mm -hmm. sasa tu unaimagine eh, ina, inakaji unaona mm -hmm. eh, lakini ni place Mimi singe, siwezi kataka mm. mtu ajikuta kiwa uko, mm. yuko uko. Mm. Jukutia kwanza eh, eh, kukua prison ina, 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 ina kueka ili design. Niseme, ok, niseme, kuna kitu ina, ina, ina itua, mentally torture. Mm. Mpuni mbaya zaidi kuliko kila kitu. Mm. Ju, angalia ukiwa mtu mzima, ontaka kuchungwa, kulindwa. Mm. Nona? kama kama mbuzi ama kama kondoo ama kama ngombe mm. na wewe ni binadamu uwezi enda pale uwezi so wewe unaongelishwa na kengele kengele kipigwa unajua hiyo ni ni, ni watu wapange wa, wa sabu mm. wanataka kuhesabiwa mm. kengele kigongo unajua hiyo hiyo ni chakula mm. yani hakuna kuongeleshwa mm. wewe unaongeleshwa na kengele sasa unaangalia maisha kama hiyo so unabaki ukiwa uko lonely mm. unaanza ku regret E, yali ulikuwa nafanya mm. na pia e, nasema mm, kujikuta prison e, inaleto na mambo mingi juu napata wakati vinyulisi e, nimesama po nyuma 
kama hatuwezi ongelesha vijana wetu mm -hmm. sisi tu ni ku ni ku discuss mambo yao ndani ya curtain mm -hmm. hawatajua yale wanafanya inawapeleka wapi kwanza ukiangalia saa hizi wengi ni kupigwa risasi mm -hmm. eh, wale wenda gereza wakifanya crime kwenda wale wanaenda percentage ni kidogo kuliko wale wanapigwa risasi huko nje unaona mm -hmm. so unapata life ya pale ndani inakuwa ina mpaka unaona yani wewe mwenyewe unajiona wewe si mtu tena mm -hmm hata saa hizi ni kushoka kenda prison kupata venye mtu amevaa kwanza unaona tu ni yani ana design nyingine unacheki mm -hmm. hata suru kiangalia amechapa yeah. lakini unapata ni mtu mdogo mm -hmm. nile kushinda ki, akiwaza na ndio unapata una, una uh, uh, inmates wengi wengi wao unapata wako na ugonjwa wa ulcers unaona mm -hmm. kwa kwa constantly wana, wana fikiria yes mm. uh, kama mimi niseme wakati okay nilikosa siwezi sema ati sikukosa mm. lakini wakati nilikosa sikukosea jamii familia yangu mm. i mean unaona so wakati nilijikuta pale nikabaki sasa niko nimebaki kwa one man guitar ndio nakumbuka uh, my mother mm. akinitembelea mara mbili kwa miaka kumi na hesabu mwaka moja mm. iko na miezi mingapi mm. unaona mm. so nikatan wild kama ile mnyama ikuporini mm. juu nasema sasa sitaki story ya mtu yote nikitoka hapa sitaki kuona mtu yote mm. nikitoka hapa sasa najiongelesha mm. lakini nilikuja nikasema hapana labda kukuja hapa pia iko na sababu zake mm. juu kuji kutandani ya mambo na gang activities sikutaka eh walu fanya crime tuko na kategori tatu mm. ambapo najua mjai understand tuko na wale wanaifanya ni swag mm -hmm. na kuna wale wana, wale wamefuata upepo mm. alafu kuna ule anaifanya kwa kuna kitu ime kuna kitu mimsukuma mm. unaona so unjua watu wataelewa sasa tuko na kategori tatu mm. so ule anafuata upepo kwa sababu huyo ndio mtu dangerous mm. juu yeye tu ni, ni kufuataga tu wasi bila kujua anafuata nini Yeah. na wale wanaifanya juu ya swag ni wale wanatafuta title mm. kisikio kichokoza mtu anakuambia yeye mimi nitakuitia mtu fulani unaona mm. juu unapata mtu yu, mtu yu waburu utapata ako kwa crime yeah. ni kwao ni nini imekosa hakuna so yeye anaifanya juu ya swag labda anataka hiyo jina ati yo anakuwa gana bunduki mm. kitu kama hiyo mm. unaona so hiyo ni title anata? anataka anataka mm -hmm. lakini sasa kuna ule kuna sababu lakini bado na baki crime sipo wakoza mm. kuna institution ya crime na kuna siku gavi itasema tunataka wezi watatu korokosho mm. ama madhare ama kibira na baki crime kwetu sipo sipo mm. unaona yeah. so life in prison uh, si lazima urudi nyumbani mm. so let me ask you uh, ukienda prison were you did you already have your own family like were you married Mm -mm. So, okay kwanza si kwa nimeoa na saizi mwala ya yeah, yeah, saizi ni kwa na mtu mm -hmm. yeah. okay so ningependa maybe utuambie how is it kwambia your partner mm. you know this is how my past was mm. first of all umemwambia yeah, about and your past and yeah. how was it alikuwa supportive alichukulia aje mm. okay kwanza eh, bado ni kidwell mm. eh, dani ya prison mm. uh, kwa kwanza nilirudi nikajijenga mi mwenyewe mm kwa kwanza nilijoin industry nika nika sium ni kama niko kole yeah. juu uko kuna kuna skills nikasema sasa wacha nijifanye niko kole kiasi mm. ndio ni avoid mambo mengi mm. juu ndani kuna mambo mengi mm. unaona so uspo chagua pale wewe mwenyewe uchague ile kadi utacheza ukichagua kadi ya kuvurugana na na na, na wadas mm. ni hiyo ndio utatoka nayo na mabaya ukichagua kwenda industry so ni wewe mwenyewe So mimi wakati niliangalia niko na hapana hapa sasa kejeza and save ni kwenda industry. Mm. E, kwanza I'm the one wale wamechangia kujenga vitu hizo mnaona ziko pale ya mentor wao wana kalia. Na mimi nako niko proud hata hiyo kiti rais huwa na kalia kiko kwa event hiyo mm. kiti imetengenezwa na mfungua. Si askari. So vitu kama hizo eh zilianza kunijenga. Ndio naanza kumbuka nikienda kodi ya ga. Mm kuna bed ilitengenezwa ya, ya former president Mr Kibaki. Mm. So nikasema kama mfungo anaweza tengeneza kitu president anda kulalia status lakini unjua sasa ni mtu amekanyagiwa huko chini kabisa tambuliki na mtu yote. Mm. Hata wakati eh, the former vice Mr Mudia Wori 
akijaribu ku tengeneza mambo na magereza muliongea mengi sana mkiwa nje anaenda ku dance na wafungo hiyo ndio kazi anafanya juu watu wajai kwa na feelings unajua watu wengi huwa wanangoja ifike kwao ndio sasa waanze kuona hiyo yeah. kitu ni kibaya lakini ifanyika kwa mwingine ni kama ni kama mkuki kwa nguruwe yeah. inakuwa ni tamu yeah. lakini kwa binadamu inakuwa ni sasa hivyo ndio wanapata watu walikuwa kichangia yeah. unaona yeah. sasa nilianza kujijenga mimi mwenyewe nikiwa pale yeah. Nikasema sasa hapa ni kati yangu na Mungu si mtu mwingine. So nika siu mpia ni kama si kutoka kwa eh, kwa watu. Mm. Ndio ni avoid mambo mengi. Mm. Mambo mengi juu kuna zile vitu kianza kujiwekea huwezi toboa. Jua hata watu wengi nimeona wale wanakuja wana wanatukuta pale mm. mtu hata wiki bila malizi, malizi kama ameondokea dunia hii. Unaona? Mm. Mm. So unasema uka pale kuna sababu so nilipotoka mimi kwanza nilitoka eh, kama ghost mm -hmm. kitu kwanza nilikubali kureform siku uh, reformiwa na mtu mm -hmm. mimi mwenyewe nisema siku zaliwa nifanya eh, hii mambo nilikuwa nikifanya mm -hmm. jua kuna raba stamp wa mtu amepigiwa ati wewe mzaliwa dunia hii so wewe utakuoga wewe unatumia ga drugs mm -hmm. ama wewe utakuwa tu criminal hakuna ni zile vitu tunaokota wakati tuna grow mm -hmm so unaanza kutembea nayo sasa nikaamua Kenya niliokota nikaingiza kwa mfuko acha nitoe nitupe unaona mm. na nika reform sasa nika kwa industry nikafanya grade zangu zote nimefanya capital engineering mm -hmm. kwa hizi nafanya kazi yangu mm -hmm. uh, mimi upata hizo subcontract nina na vijana mm -hmm. tunafanya nao job at least uh, hata wanapata kitu na pia nawaambia mtu ajifundishe kazi wawe na skills hiyo ndio ile njia mimi nawasaidia mm -hmm. na wa vijana mm -hmm unaona so nilipo eh, toka eh, cuz time yako ikiisha sasa pia tunakuwa unakuwa dui mm. utaikani kuonekana huko hata kama kuna mali pa kuenda auna mm. siku zako zimeisha hautakikani hapa ndani mm. okay, kitu kwanza niliomba Mungu <coughs> mambo mawili tu siku um, omba sana mm. nikamwambia tu Mungu okay ninatoka juu my mama amekufanikiwa ndani mm. Mm, dad na alikufa before ni shikwe lakini tuki wadogo mm. sasa nikasema naenda na hakuna mtashe nitembelee miaka yote ni kumanisha eh, sioni kama nitapata ile makaribisho mm. mzuri nyumbani mm. unaona mimi natoka Nyanza sasa nikamwambia Mungu naomba usiache nianguke na na, na kuomba usiwache niaibike mm. na, na nikamaliza maombi yangu hivyo tu so kutoka Uh, nilienda kwa ule inmate mm. tulikuwa naye alinitangulia nilikuwa special stage special stage uh, ni trustee when you na coach wafungwa wote wako chini yako unaona mm. uh, sasa huyu alikuwa ni huyu <coughs> alikuwa inmate wakati alitangulia alipata direction ya kwao mm -hmm. so direction ya kwao akaniambia ukifika kibos eh, kaburini ulizia tu home utafanya nini? Ni sasa kwetu niko na siwezi enda. Mm -hmm. kuna msi. Sasa huko hivyo ndo nilienda ni kwao. Pale pia nilikaa si kwa niko comfortable juu. Ukiangalia sawa ni pumzima yeah. eh, ni kama nimeleta gharama pale. Mm -hmm. eh, alafu unajua tu ocha mtu anatakulisha. Unaona? Mm -hmm. Nikawa na kukaa pale pia imekuwa nini? Sasa uh, wale marifu wangu kuzitulishwa watu tano. Eh, marifu wangu akaanza kunembeaji mazee kuja mtaani. Jo mimi kwanza wakati nilitoka prison nilisema mambo na Nairobi tena sitaki. Hata nilikuwa nimetoka kwa roka nimbia panokika huko maze utapoteza step mbaya sana. Nyenye nikaka chini kona ni kweli. Mm. Juu kwenda kwanza life mali hakuna mtu anakujua inakuwa ni inakuwa ni ngumu. Unaona? Mm. So nikakuwa na kamini showroom. Mali kuletwa kibos. Sasa so, zile vitu tunatengeneza wana sifu ni poa lakini hawanunui. Mm. Juu ni expensive. Mm una sifu ni poa na wanunue eh niko na hapana hiyo acha ni nipande mtaani mm. ndio nikakaa mna hii so kwa kama hii kuna jama pia bado tulikuwa na naye band buzz wewe ndio niliingia kwake uh, nikajoin ile workshop alikuwa pale pia tukaona zile vitu tunatengeneza au siwezi nunua mm. na pia mimi sikutaka kurudiu zile standard yangu ya kazi ati ni ati nifanye bora kazi mimi sifanyagi bora kazi mimi nafanya kazi bora na hivyo ndio ni train sasa nikaanza ku kutembea ukijua donom kuna workshop inajita uh, utidi furniture yeah. uh, iyo barabara kwenda 
airport nikakuwa mm. hapo kiangalia hizo viti zinafanywa carving ndio nafanya mpaka carving mm. so nikakaa hapo nikapata pia pale unyanyasaji iko mingi unapata kifika saa tu mzee anataka kupatia sultano wiki mzima niko na parma niko na kwani ile kazi niko nimesomea kumbe aingeza kunisaidia mm. sasa nika survive tu hivyo na nikamari bado kama sina job mm. naona Uh, so wakati nilianza ku date uh, uh, um super alikuwa anakam kwa beste ule tulikuwa na stay naye mm. uh, sasa niseme tukazoea na sasa jo vinyoro wanazoea na kama kawaida mm. yeah mm. sasa kuongea kwa supportive once ulimwambia sasa wakati mjua sasa wakati unataka kumari mse lazima sasa hapo usimame kwenye ukweli wako yeah. juu eh mmoja kudetiana na ku na kuona hizo ni vitu mbili different. Yeah. Mmoja wakati naweza kudanganya na kuambia unajua mimi ndio nafanyaga kwa ile ile meli na kuaga pale. Mm. Jua utajua kweli wangu si unajua. Mm. Sasa inabidi sasa hapo anze kuambia mtu reality. Kwa mimi mimi ni convict. Na nimekuwa prison. Mm. Na nime na nilienda kwa sababu ya ABCD. Mhm. Unaona? So kama pia alikuwa anataka mwanaume juu juu sasa mambo ya prison hiyo ni nyingine unaona mm. juu sasa at, at discuss kuhusu prison lakini sasa awe anajua si ati siku moja mtu anamwambia mm. unajua huyu ashaikuwa jela na mimi pia mimi kusema eh, kusema hivyo mimi uliza so what yeah, yeah. Mm. nilikuwa huko sasa so, kwa hivyo that's so afadhali mimi eh juu mimi sasa hizi mucheza ndani ya sheria mimi hizi ni part ya sheria mm. Eh na mimi ni lawyer kivi yangu. Mm. Juu nime nime learn vitu more. Mimi ni lawyer kivi yangu. Mimi hata case naweza fanya bila lawyer. Mm. Na ni kuchallenge. Mm. Unaona? Mm. So eh ukiniambia mimi nitakuuliza so what? Mm. Eh so wewe umekosa kazi ya kufanya. Mm. Afadhali mimi na tena saa hizi najaribu kuokoa maisha ya mtu mwingine. Eh. And on that note actually because you know tumeongea na especially last year this year tumeona a lot of young people being involved in crime. A lot of them were kishutiwa. You know even even ladies you know wana kwa like their head heads of gangs. Ngambia youth nini wenye wako on that path that um, criminal path. Okay kwanza mimi ningesema kila mtu awe na jukumu mm. juu ukilenga ni wewe mwenyewe ndio uko safe na ndio kama na si watu nasema crime si reform is organization mm. kila mtu malipopote mm. kwa kila chuo uko ni wewe mwenyewe usikubali ukiona teenager mm. anafanya makosa unasema ati wachana nao wewe ndio kesho utaona CCTV na inawachukua ukitolewa hizo hearings. Mm. Juu unasemaga wewe ulishamaliza. Ni kwa mfano nisemwe size hata nikifanikiwa nipate ni kujia Range Rover, mimi sema I'm not safe. Juu mimi ndio nitakuwa shaba kwa ule ana. Mm. Juu anaangalia ni wapi nitangukia ni wewe. Mm. Nona. So unapata si Kenyans. Tunaona sisi tuliondokea ngori na hawajui crime ina grow usiku na mchana mm. juzi ni mwana umetoa percentage at sg nini 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 ni. hizo tu nzile kufunga watu macho mm. sisi ndio tunakaa huko ghetto mm. ukisikia manduru ile kitu mimi ningeambia matini just mm. kuna progi tuko nayo ni jitabi safe and sound in school mm. ni program inaongelea about teen and crime mm. kuna mashule kadhaa tumetem eh, sisi watu na tunatembelea mm -hmm. eh, kuongelea na kuongea na, 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 na matini just about uh, behavior change mm -hmm ikiwa kwanza napata mwalimu anakuambia mimi siwezi punish mwanafunzi na hiyo ni prima, primary mm. Una, unaona mali tunaelekea ni wapi yeah. ati mwalimu anaogopa ati anaogopa yeah. mwanafunzi mm. unaona hapo kuna kitu kweli ati akimpunish aki, aki aspite gate mm. unaona yeah. wazazi wanajua vizuri kenye watoto wao wanafanya si ati hawajui mm. lakini unapata sasa na nyinyi nyinyi wa mama unapata wewe ndio una defend how comes mtu yoka anakuja na laptop kama hii mm. utaki kumuuliza umetoa umetoa wapi yeah. unaambia wewe kwanza sasa sasa hizo ndio unaanza kumuita baba mm. <laughs> unaona utaki kujua laptop ametoa wapi mm. kesho unasikia amepigwa ndio unatoka kwa uchu ukienda huko kilia mm. kwa gimwizi wewe umechangia kitu naweza ambia 
vijana na wale wale vijana wana wana wana, wana jingiza, uh, kwenye crime mm. tu kwanza crime si kazi mm. na aimanishi wakati umekosa kitu ya kufanya mm. ati crime hiyo kazi tu kwanza acha tuwe tuwe creative mm. chochote iko nayo hebu 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 itoe uone kama inaweza kusaidia mm. unaona juu unapata ukienda mtaani saa hizo unapata mtoi wa 15 16 17 wameoana ati ati wako na nyumba ni nani kwanza anaandika mtu wa 16 17 ana ili kazi ni nani unaona mm. eh, swali lingine au watu wakati umejifunga kwa nyumba wao wanaongea kuhusu nini mm. ndio asubuhi ifike mm. ati ni mke na na, na bibi mm. which kind of topic on discuss mm -hmm. Ni, kuna ule anenkarimu ane, ane, ane zake kwa, eh, kwa mambo na walifu mm. Nona mm -hmm. Juu napata Au mastudio kwa nyumbani weekend Uwezi juu kama ni student yes. Ataka kama wevi nyuko hivi mm. Na ukiwa mwanafunzi kwanza kubali unasoma Wevi ule kitu unatu Because I mean criminals yeah, at that very young age Yeah Okay so, um, George, asante sana. Najua, we are running a bit short of time, but uh, Najua, you have so much advice, and of course, we will, you know, invite you to even speak to kids a lot more. But um, if someone wants to reach out to you, anaza kufiki aje. Mm. Okay, chwa kwanza, uh, kama, uh, kamera ni gani? Unana tumia kamera fo? Kamera, yeah. iku wapa mbele yangu? Yeah. Okay, chwa kwanza, anaza nezambia uh, matini wale wako home, Ma youth wala wako mtaani. Ukiwa na kalamu na karatasi, mtapia na email address ya organization, ni eh, reformist organization, uh, reformist organization, uh, organization at 2018. Mtapia na number, number yangu, wapapo hiyo ngini mweza mkwa tapia na number yangu, itakuwa ni 0715407558. Yu ndio number za tupata na yu. Mm -hmm. so, na utafuto kiwa na agenda. Si yes. number pia unapigia tu na... For nothing. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Thank you so much, George. You know, for just sharing your story. And, you know, to me wana venya life yako. It may change. And I hope that, you know, our viewers and especially our young people can learn something from that. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Asante. Alafu, yes. ni kiongezea before ni cut. Mm -hmm. eh, wacha wife yangu pia jibambe juna juna na watch saizi. Okay. Yeye ni Pastor Sharon George. Okay. Yeye ni Pastor uh, 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 Worship. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sh a big shout out to you, uh, Sarah. You said, yeah? Sharon or Sarah? Sharon. Sharon. Okay. Sharon George. All right. So we are talking about crime and re rehabilitation, and that, that was uh, George sharing his story with us, being a former ex, uh, a reforming ex-convict. Now, guys, just stay tuned because up next we have uh, an, uh, some members from an, an organization that actually rehabilitates, and they're going to tell us the services that they give uh, to people pr uh, post um, uh, jail and also how they assist uh, convicts while they are in jail. Uh, do keep in on sending your sms's to our sms line that's double two one six to start with the word circuit we'll take a short break but we will be right back